Milo, the miracle pup, has become a bit of a sensation in Oklahoma. After hearing his story, he stole our hearts too. Little Milo was born with upside down paws. The problem was his elbows. Both were dislocated and it prevented him from walking normally, try as he might. For whatever reason, whenever he was being made, <laughs> he just didn't get made quite right. His deformity is such a rare condition that veterinarians at Oklahoma State University had seen few similar cases. I've seen two other patients with this problem over 27 years of doing surgery. Once you see this problem, you'll never forget it. To have any hope of living a normal puppy lifestyle, Milo needed serious surgery to correct his paws. It also meant he would have to wear a cast on his front legs for weeks after that surgery was complete. They basically had to realign all of his bones around his joint and then use a surgical pin to hold it all together. If the elbows are stable and they stay that way for a few weeks after we remove the splint, then he has a good long-term prognosis. He's a resilient little creature, and you could tell he was doing the best that he could. And on pretty much every other front, he was just a normal puppy acting like a puppy. Thankfully, Milo's caretakers at Oliver and Friends Farm Rescue and Sanctuary were dedicated to his recovery and to giving him the best possible future. We're gonna have to pretty much teach him how to walk again. Um, before he had the surgery, you know, his legs were so deformed that he couldn't, he could basically only army crawl. Of course, after the casts came off, not only was Milo eager to try out his new paws, but it was an emotional day for the sanctuary staff. Oh, I've been bawling all day. I've all day. <laughs> So much crying, huh? It was just really, really emotional. You can see he's a normal puppy. He just wants to play. However, even after saying goodbye to his casts, Milo still had a long road ahead to fully recover. Learning to walk with his new right side up paws would be quite the endeavor. He's got no triceps, no biceps. He's got no shoulder muscles. You see how small his little chest is. You can see how his legs kind of splay out. His therapy has involved all manner of activities, including things like swimming pools, treats, and ramps. We spoke with Oklahoma reporter Christine Stanwood, who shared updates with us on Milo's tremendous progress since he took his first steps. I like to consider Milo as our own little mascot here. He, in Oklahoma, he just brings such joy and hope. When you first see him take those first little steps, it kind of breaks your heart. You, you want to cheer him on from your computer screen, from your TV screen. Everybody is cheering from Milo. And the fact that he is recovering and he is walking like a normal dog, I think a lot of us see ourselves and whatever obstacle we're facing that day. If he can do that, then we can do that too. Now, how did Milo end up at the animal sanctuary? I mean, where did he come from? He was a surrender from a breeder just at four weeks old. And that's when Oliver and Friends Sanctuary, Animal Sanctuary, decided to take him in and asked for help, asked for corrective surgery from OSU. And from there, they completely rehabbed Milo and continued to help rehab Milo. And this is a really cool organization. Milo's not the only dog or any animal for that matter. They are rehabbing and taking care of animals that are either neglected or people don't want to take care of anymore because of issues that they can't really fix or afford to fix from dogs, chickens, cows, pigs, you name it. They help those animals out. And these people are so gracious and willing to make sure that these animals have the best lives that they can. Right. And Milo's story has gotten all of this attention, but it's also put a spotlight on the sanctuary and the work they do. It's cool that they're getting more attention because that one story really took off. And now a lot of people know Oliver and friends and they want to help. They want to volunteer. And I think for them, having that viral moment was so humbling and overwhelming. When I saw Jenny Hayes come into our studio with Milo, I gave her a hug and that was after her story ran. And she said, thank you. She had tears in her eyes. Thank you. Thank you so much. This has gained a national attention, a worldwide attention. And we're receiving messages from all over the world. And this would have never happened had Milo's story not been shared. So tell me, how is Milo's recovery going? Do you guys have any updates? 
as you can see in some of the videos, he's doing swim therapy. I'll never forget watching the first swim therapy. And he was just trudging along. He was doing his little paddle. You're blown away. The dog that couldn't walk is now swimming. Again, if you think you're facing an obstacle, this dog is swimming. It's so cool. And it's cool to hear in the videos, his owners and his therapist cheering him on saying, you got this, you can do it. So swim therapy is really paying off for him. I'm also told that he's going to start puppy classes and training so he can become a therapy dog, which is his perfect job for him. So now the question on everybody's mind, is Milo up for adoption? Unfortunately, Milo is not up for adoption. Jenny, the owner, he had her heart from the beginning. She hates to tell people no, but that little guy has a good home there. He really does. And I even wanted to adopt him after holding him myself, even bringing him to the station after the story aired. People would not let this dog go. They just really held him like a baby. And his impact is out of this world. Really phenomenal. The animal sanctuary Milo now calls home stresses the importance of giving animals that are just a little bit different the chance to be in a loving forever home. If you'd like to stay up to date on Milo's continued progress, follow Oliver and Friends Farm Rescue and Sanctuary. I'm Alexandra Stone, and this has been your Weekly Dispatch. Thanks for watching. Comment down below to let us know your thoughts, and be sure to subscribe for more dispatches from the middle. Thank you.